Nucleus, Nutritional Closed Loop Eco Unit System, is a modular bioregenerative system that produces fresh microgreens, vegetables, mushrooms, and insects, providing a nutritional diet for long term space missions. Nucleus consists of nine modules called quarks. The current nucleus configuration includes six growth quarks for vegetables, microgreens, sprouts, insects, and mushroom production. The quarks are modular by design. The same growth quark can be adopted to any configuration depending on crew and mission needs. The remaining quarks are systems quarks. They house the closed loop system's functional components. One HVAC quark for atmospheric systems, one electronics quark for automation and control, and one irrigation quark for water storage and purification. All quarks work independently and combined together, they create a closed loop pathogen-free and balanced system for efficient food production. All quarks are plugged into a centralized network that distributes air, water, and power to recreate specific atmospheric irrigation and lighting conditions required by each configuration. Nucleus uses three types of irrigation, ebb and flow, wick, and drip. It reclaims and cleans the water via UV sterilization before recirculation. Nucleus offers control on relative humidity, temperature, and CO2 concentration. It uses CO2, which is produced by the insect's growth quark, to enrich the climate with CO2 in the vegetable, microgreen, and sprouts growth quarks, boosting photosynthesis and yield. The HVAC system includes HEPA filters to ensure no contamination in the air. The lighting in each quark is interchangeable. Full-spectrum LEDs are used for the vegetable and microgreen configurations. White light and UVB lights are used in the mushroom configuration, and white lights are used for the insect configuration. Each growth quark is connected to a centralized distribution network through an interface panel. These panels are composed of actuators that regulate the input of fluidics and of conditioned air for the growth quarks. Each growth quark is equipped with CO2, humidity, and temperature sensors. Data captured is sent to the electronics quark and processed in real time. Nucleus is designed to autonomously create a self-sustaining resilient food production system that optimizes for nutrient content and yield. To begin, the crew configures growth quarks based on the mission needs. Each quark can be adapted for plants, mushrooms, or insects based on interchangeable LEDs and trays. The modular design allows for fast reconfiguration. Once quark configuration is done, the crew moves to nucleus assembly. The crew can assemble the modular primary and secondary structures to form the frame that holds the nine quarks then install the interface panels and the piping lines. Finally, they slide the quarks into their desired placement. To reduce setup and maintenance time, each quark in our system is equipped with quick connect plug and play fitting for each of its subsystems. In the irrigation quark, the tank is filled with 40 liters of water and then enriched with nutrient solution. In the HVAC system quark, the tank is filled with 15 liters of clear water. The next step is to add seeds, the first insect larvae, and mycelium inoculated substrate to the six growth quarks. Finally, crew members connect nucleus to a power source and initialize the software via the tablet. Through the software interface, the crew will control each growth quark with a specific program configured for vegetable, microgreen, sprouts, insect, or mushroom growth. Nucleus is now ready to go. The seeds are laid onto the substrate and five milliliters of water are added to each layer. The sprouts are then harvested after 7 to 14 days. 
In the microgreen cork, the seeds are placed on a mesh in the propagation tray. The automated system irrigates and drains the microgreen trays, which use a wick system to ensure efficient irrigation. The microgreens are harvested once they reach 7 to 15 centimeters tall and have a set of true leaves. 2 to 5 percent can be transplanted into the larger plant growth corks. In the veggie cork, the vegetables are harvested when they are ready, depending on the species. During the harvest, inedible plant mass is separated, stored externally, or fed to the larvae. In the mushroom cork, the mushrooms are harvested when ready. After three yields, a mycelium block is cut in half. 50% is used to grow the new mycelium, mixed with the inedible plant mass. The other half is fed to the insects. In the insect cork, the pre-pupae will self-harvest via the ramp to the easy-to-reach harvest tray. 90 to 98 percent of this harvest can be eaten. The additional 2 to 5 percent can be transferred into the dark rooms, where they pupate and are released into the nursery chamber to breed and lay new eggs. With 90% of the control automated, the only task for the crew daily is to visually inspect the growth of their food. Weekly, the crew must conduct harvest and maintenance. Nucleus is designed so that the components are easily accessible. This makes it easy to clean, replace, or repair any items that become damaged or as they near the end of their life cycles. Soft edges have been incorporated in the design for a safer cleaning experience and to prevent injuries. The life cycles of the components are programmed into the software, which will remind the crew to replace or clean components, such as filters. In the event of a cork needing to be cleaned or quarantined, it can easily be disconnected without compromising the rest of the system. The black soldier fly insects were chosen for their ability to break down inedible food waste, even contaminated waste, into safe organic material. The food produced by each growth cork can be eaten on their own or combined into recipes to increase the hedonic experience of consumption. In space, a crew of astronauts will use mushrooms, insects, and plants to create a variety of dishes and recipes. For example, they could use mushrooms to create a flavorful soup or stir-fry. They could use insects to be ground into protein-rich powders which enhance and give a depth of flavor to any meal. Plants, such as lettuce, could be grown inside nucleus and used to add freshness and nutrients to salads. Overall, by using mushrooms, insects, and plants, the astronauts could create a diverse and nutritious menu that would support their health and well-being during their time in space. Modularity allows for deep cleans to be scheduled for individual quarks, taking minimal time from a crew member's busy schedule. The system will provide advanced alerts that forecast the need to clean system components to ensure food safety and optimal system function. Deep cleans are only needed if contamination event occurs. For deep cleaning, a crew member can select the shutdown command on the screen and confirm the selection. This will disengage all system and return fluids into the tanks the crew can then fill tanks with cleaning solutions and run the cleaning program. The cleaning program distributes the cleaning solution to every quark to sterilize them. After the cleaning routine is complete, the crew again runs the shutdown program. Then they can safely disconnect the lines, power, and systems for storage.